Okay, I want to apologize for y'all. This is actually going to be part four of our section where we left off on part three in the middle of where I actually made a little bit of a, of a mistake by clicking into the wrong area. And rather than start the entire video back over again, we're going to go ahead and pick up from uh, from where we left off. Looking on over here, um, again, we want to go ahead and uh, delete st street, city, state, and postal code. So I'm going to go ahead and hit hold down my control key click on now take out this first hold down my control key hit a street and then I hit underneath street city and then underneath city state and underneath state and postal code and underneath postal code okay and that will go ahead and leave all of that information uh, in here right clicking in here I'm just going to go ahead and delete the columns okay so when we do this we see that we now have um, a much larger uh, or a smaller area here that we can actually work with so what I want to do and actually in this case we're going to make this so it all looks right so you'll see we have a lot of space here in our account uh, uh, area here so I'm going to go ahead and click here at this area here and bring this over here right to where it says account number uh, so that everything's showing again this is sort of a manual best fit unfortunately you don't have a best fit that works um, uh, works the way that that you would uh, uh, like for it to um, uh, in this the way uh, that Excel and the other uh, programs in here does but um, in our case here we see where it, uh, it actually does work uh, if you do it manually so you see this number right here is not quite um, uh, or excuse me, the cell is not quite large enough to display all of your um, uh, all of your in information here. So we'll go ahead and bring that on on up. And I've got this page one of one, and I'm going to go ahead and grab this and also move it over here. Now there's one more um, uh, thing that we want to do here. And so we have over here our current due and the amount that's current due. And also here in the amount here on, on amount, um, well, uh, take it on um, back over here. Uh, on the, we're going to click over here on the amount paid uh, to add the sum for the column. So in this case here, we're going to go ahead and click again uh, on this column here. And then we're going to go ahead and go into our design tab and here into our design tab you see here our totals we'll drop on down here and let's do some and lo and behold there's our sum for that so and again even though this is not a, a spreadsheet proper you can actually do it on these forms and that's again one of the nice things about access so we've gone ahead and we've uh, we've added the sums uh, on over here we've dragged um, our page one of one over here we've made all of our uh, our information in here now as it goes goes for me um, I kind of don't like the way this is so I want to go ahead and maybe make account manager number a little bit um, so account manager number a little bit smaller and maybe move this cell over here a little bit to the side too um, and again, if you wish to or don't wish to, that's fine. But you see all uh, the way that we actually uh, actually did that. So, in our cases on over here, we've gone ahead and done this. We want to go ahead and click over here to save the report. And then let's go ahead and close it down. Looking back, let's see what we have here. We have our account info. We have our personal information. We have our account info query here. We have the form and the account info uh, report. And we've gone ahead and seen that we have all this information uh, in here the way that, uh, that we want. As I said, one more time just to be safe. Let's go ahead and save this. And that's going to be pretty much it for this particular um, particular assignment. And, and remember, Ken, you've learned how to go ahead and how to create tables. Uh, on over here how to create a table and put it in put in your information manually how to go ahead and go into design view um, 
and so for let me go ahead and just close all of these out uh, here you're not going to be able to to work on these if if any of them are open but again you've got your account uh, info here here's your design the information that you've put in here um, is how it is I want you to be be careful um, about this so again your personal information account info query WS um, account info um, look over here again in design view you'll see uh, also each one of these items in here field size and so forth as I said before these field sizes for these names may be a little bit long if you want to go ahead and get chintzy about it and, and make them a little bit smaller as long as it's large enough to fill all of your information uh, again here's your account info query uh, that we ran here so So again, here's your account info query uh, that we ran. Here's the form for the account numbers. And here's our, our report in which we went ahead and, and totaled up everything that we have here. So uh, that should pretty much uh, be it. Maybe with one different um, uh, one exam one different thing that I would like for y'all uh, to see here. So we've got, um, we have Excel in here. And this is actually not part of, part of the assignment. But I want to sort of make the... Um, uh, make the point um, as to why it's important for us to um, uh, excuse me um, uh, why it's important for us to go ahead and to be aware um, of how important size is for your particular um, uh, your, ac your access projects so if we go ahead here let me pause for just one second so in any case here I went ahead and double checked my size of this particular document um, and in the case um, uh, here I found that the size um, uh, for this was 832 uh, kilobytes um, uh, 800 kilobytes large which is is not huge but it's still pretty pretty big so if we take a look o over here uh, uh, excuse me, on, and want to see if we can make this a little bit smaller by taking out all the empty spaces and compacting the database so it's going to be easier to uh, store and also easier to access the information in because face it, if you have a bookshelf and the bookshelf has all the books pretty much put together and organized um, and, or also known as indexed, you're going to be able to find your books a lot easier um, than if just books were thrown in upside down and, and, and so forth with a lot of spaces in between them. So what we're going to do on over here is we're going to go ahead and go into our database tools. And we're going to go ahead and compact and repair the database here. And so having done, done that, and I just went ahead and co uh, compact and repair database, looks like nothing really happened, but it... Um, in this case here, um, if I go ahead and do a quick refresh over here uh, onto this um, uh, this section here. I'm going to go go back here again into Home, File. Um, again, let's compact and repair it um, uh, one one more time, and then go into um, our options take that back let me pause you one more time my apologies I'm actually working on a different computer than what I normally do on over here but if you take a look over here and again let me pop uh, pop here um, again if I go back here into file and go again look on over here into our options take that back it's not the options file and then view and edit database properties here are my properties here and again here's our size and so forth that they talk about here the size now is 516 kilobytes so in our case here we've actually taken out roughly 200 um, well, 
uh, 200 and let's say 30 uh, kilobytes on that, which is almost uh, 20, uh, 33 percent of the size of the original database. So you'll see why you would want to go ahead and come back and repair this. So that's all I really want to show you all about this. What you want to do here uh, on this particular assignment is go ahead and turn it on in if, if you're in my class. If not, please uh, keep an eye out for us and see if I uh, have anything else in this channel that might pop up that interests you. Thank you very much.